little too much fun today. We went to multiple thrift stores and Judith actually let us know that there are two thrift stores right around us that sell books. And we had a blast. We bought two full bags of books. We also went to Ollie's to check out their book section because we hadn't been there since last year. And there was a new location we went to, so we went crazy. It's been a while since we've bought this many books in one trip. We need to take a bit of a break. Yeah, this is a little much, but we had a really good time. The two places we did go first is basically just resale stores in our area. They're locally owned, so it's kind of like Goodwill, but it's not a huge corporation chain. It's just local to our area and all the proceeds go to local foundations and charities, so that was amazing. Everyone there volunteers and they're super nice. We kind of want to go and volunteer now. The first location, we were there as soon as it opened because they were having a 50% off book sale. So we showed up as soon as they opened and we stayed there until 11.30. That was an hour and a half of us being there. We know from other book sales, like library book sales and things we go to, that sometimes people are lined up and we have never been here, so we didn't know if that's how it was gonna be. No one else was there for the books, it was just us. Yeah. So that was really nice. But yeah, we did not anticipate being there longer than like 10, 15 minutes and we went shopping. We didn't just get books. We were only supposed to get books, so we yeah. also got other stuff. The first one I was so excited to see there is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. This was one of the book club options we put out for this month. It didn't end up winning, but I do really want to read it. I'm just going to read you the top real quick because we have too many to get into them, but it says, would you defend your husband if he was accused of killing his mistress? Mm. What? <laughs> that sounds so good. I have seen this one a lot. It is on Kindle Unlimited, so I might read it on there, but I'll have the physical copy. Front says his mistress is dead. His wife is his only hope. So she's the only one who can get him out of it. I don't think I would. Judge. He's guilty, mm -hmm. but I'm very excited to have this perfect condition. It looks brand new. Brand new. I did get The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This movie came out pretty recently with Lucy Hale. I knew I wanted to read the book before I watched the movie. I was pretty surprised to see this there because this is a very popular book talk book and I was surprised that no one had picked this one up yet. I know this is a workplace romance with enemies to lovers in it. It says Lucy Hutton and Joshua Templeman hate each other, not dislike. Okay. Now that they're up for the same promotion, their battle of wills has come to a head and Lucy refuses to back down when their latest game could cost her dream job. So they're just competing for the same position. Yeah. Who's gonna win? Exactly. Okay, cute. <laughs> <laughs> you just recently read this one, so when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get it. And it is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I have not read any Tessa Bailey books yet. Small Town Romance. I don't really read those, so I'm hoping I love this one. I heard it's super smutty. I do really like Opposites Attract though and I know he's like very down to earth rugged type and she's opposite very high maintenance comes from a wealthy family things like that so I think this one would be a fun one I was just really surprised to see it honestly and I had to grab it because it was only two dollars <laughs> but I'm excited to have this one now Next, I got The Family Across the Street by Nicole Trope. This condition is amazing. This is like brand new, straight out of the box. Sometimes the most perfect families are hiding the most terrible secrets. How well do you know the people next door? I don't know my neighbors at all, actually. <laughs> Everybody wants to live on the Hogarth Street, the pretty tree-lined avenue with its white houses. The new family, the Wests, are a perfect fit. Catherine and John seem so in love, but soon people are starting to notice why don't they join backyard barbecues, why do they brush away offers to babysit, and why when you knock at the door do they shut you out rather than inviting you in. I think this is a good one. On the front, it says shocking twist. So okay. I would hope so. <laughs> it's printed on the front. Okay, here's what happened with this book, you guys. I picked this up because, I'm gonna be honest, look at the spine, it was gorgeous, okay? It's basically about a man who goes missing, his wife is trying to find him he turns up dead and she has to figure out what happened honestly i just knew it was a murder mystery and i've been wanting to read more of those so i picked it up sorry the camera died but what i was saying is on the front you guys it says written by jk rowling i kind of looked at it and i was just like hey what like i didn't know if they meant a review or something it didn't make sense to me and i bought it i then when i was reading the summary looked at the back and this is definitely J.K. Rowling, like this is just her pseudonym. I don't know why she writes under Robert Galbraith, but she does. So I unintentionally bought a J.K. Rowling book. I'm not even that upset about it though, because it was like secondhand. So she didn't even really get this money. If anyone has but it, please let me know. I might just give it to my mom, but super crazy it's J.K. Rowling. I could see why she would want to write under someone else, but then why would you market it? 
Yeah. Like, no, it is J.K. With Rowling. With a sticker loud and proud. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's weird. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. I did find the selection stories, The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cass. I just read the selection because Lauren chose it for me for my May TBR. And you guys, I loved it so much. It was so fun. It was so easy. It was so trashy. It was a good time. I never wanted to put the book down. So when I saw this, I was like, wait a minute, what is going on here? Because I know this isn't the second book. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is a prequel. So I think this is like the perfect time for me to read it is right now. But yes, I really love this selection so much that I immediately bought the box set. So I'll read this until I get that. These next two I actually got at Ollie's and this is called The End and Other Beginnings by Veronica Roth. I know she wrote the Divergent series, which I love the movies. I haven't gotten around to reading the books yet, but this one just seemed like such a fast, fun read. I believe it's sci-fi and we're actually getting six different short stories. It says no world is like the other. Each setting is more strange and wonderful than the last, brimming with new technologies and beings. In these six short stories, Veronica Roth reaches into the unknown and draws forth something strangely familiar and profoundly beautiful. I've been picking up a lot of sci-fi recently unintentionally but maybe I'm trying to get into that genre it's a stories from the future I think it would be really cool and it's a short read so why not if I like her writing I'm gonna jump into the diverse trilogy because I have all three the one I got from Ollie's was the city we became by NK Jemison this cover I have mm -hmm. seen so many times I've seen it every time I go to Barnes Noble. I see it every time I look on Book Outlet. So I was finally like, it's time. I have to get it. It was only $4.99. The summary actually does sound really interesting. It says, in Manhattan, a young grad student gets off the train and realizes he doesn't remember who he is, where he's from, or even his own name. But he can sense the beating heart of the city and see its history and feel its power. Okay. In the Bronx, a gallery director discovers strange graffiti scattered throughout the city. So beautiful and powerful, it's as if the paint is literally calling to her. So there's something going on with the graffiti. The camera did overheat because it is so freaking hot outside in Texas. But anyways, all I was saying is I think it sounds really cute. Such a cute cover. I'm glad I finally have it. That's one I've been looking at for a while too. Why did you get it? <laughs> I don't know. The last one I got was from Ollie's and believe it or not, it is a Stephen King book. Here's my, my thought process. Look at how tiny this is. I'm talking 135 pages. I've only really read one Stephen King book and I DNF'd another, but I think it's just because they're a little long and they're a little wordy. I want to try to read a lot of his shorter books to kind of get into it. I know he has a bunch of books in Castle Rock. I don't know the order or the universe or anything like that. So I don't know when this comes in. We are in a small town. We're following a guy who has a strange condition and things are happening. <laughs> Elevation is a trick and treat about an ordinary man in an extraordinary condition, rising above hatred and learning to live with tact and dignity. We're gonna get into it, we're gonna see. I will let you guys know. I saw some Goodreads reviews saying that they were crying at the end, like it was a really emotional ending. So I wanna see how we get to that point. Hopefully I get more into Stephen King's writing because I do have a lot of his books that I wanna read in October. Thought it would just be like a quick fun one and hopefully I really enjoy it. Okay, the next three I have are all summary books. So the first one, It's Not Summer Without You, this is the OG cover and I never owned the OG cover. So I had to get it. It's self-explanatory. These are hard to come by now. Yeah. You guys know we love the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. We read the books in middle school and we absolutely love the TV adaptation. The new season's coming out soon. So it was right. I had to get it. And then I have another Ellen Hildebrand, Endless Summer. So this one actually sounds pretty cool because this is a collection of nine captivating stories, prequels, sequels, and bonus chapters for Ellen Hildebrand's beloved books. I think that's fun. I have to read her books before I can <laughs> read this, but I have a small collection of her books already so I had to add this one as well and then I found this really random one but I think it's so cute it's Beach House Summer by Sarah Morgan this is kind of like a summer mystery thriller it says when Jonah's famous ex-husband dies in a car accident she doesn't know what to feel their dysfunctional marriage held more painful secrets than she cares to remember but when she discovers that the young woman with him in the crash is pregnant Joanna feels compelled to act knowing exactly how brutal the media spotlight will be on celebrity chef Cliff Whitman's ex-wife and his mysterious female friend. Maybe not mystery thriller. That's more of like drama. Yeah, drama. That's I crazy. I love drama. So that was all 12 books we got. You guys, that's a lot. Especially for one day, three locations. We're so happy with all of our finds. We did get a couple other things from the thrift stores. So we're gonna quickly show you guys that, but do know that this was all the books. So if you don't care about the other stuff, that's it. <laughs> 
this is all of the other things we got that we were not supposed to get. It was supposed to be books only, but you guys, we got a little distracted. They had such good stuff. And I love a bargain price, you guys already know. I'm an impulse buyer, so let me show you what I got. I don't own many Texas school, Texas themed clothes, so I have got me this A&M, little fishing, Cambodia, what's the, what is it? Columbia. Columbia. Did I go to A&M? No. But do I love this color? Yes. Yeah. I think these are normally super pricey, like around $50, $60. $4 I paid for this shirt, $4. Yeah, so it's just a long sleeve, cute fishing shirt. Do I fish? No, but I'll be wearing it anyway. Next, is it summer? Definitely. Is it 90 degrees right now? For sure, but I got myself a coat. So this is like a Dickies jacket. It's super oversized, but it looks like it has like a hood underneath and it is so cute, you guys. I don't know when you guys will see me in this, but I'll definitely wear it when it gets chilly. $6. Yeah. $6 for this jacket. Okay, lastly, I got some bookends. So that is book themed. Look how cute these are. They're these two cute fleur de -lis red bookends. My parents love fleur de -lis. We're from New Orleans, so this is all over our house. I might give them to my mom for Mother's Day. I haven't decided yet. I also did get some tops. Again, we're in Texas, Houston, Texas, to be more specific. So I saw this Houston Texans jersey, JJ Watt on it. I mean, if, I'm sure you don't care, but <laughs> this is an authentic jersey, and JJ Watt is forever a Texan. So I had to, and I haven't owned like a Texan jersey yet. And it was only like 10 bucks, so you know, why not? Then I also got this top. This is Calvin Klein, okay? And it's never been worn before. I still got all the tags on it. It's just a nice, cute, simple top. I think it'll be really cute with some jean shorts and a bathing suit underneath. I look so cute in it. <laughs> and then I also got a sweater, even though it is 90 degrees outside. This one is from Banana Republic, but I just really liked the collar on this one. Lauren swears I already own this. We have seen you in that top before. <laughs> it's given American Eagle. Yeah, it's really cute. I also made Lauren gift me an evil eye. <laughs> so me, it's pink, it has little eyes on it. I'll put it on. Yeah, put it on, put it on. Guys, I forgot I also got this bag for my mom for Mother's Day. I completely forgot it was in the back seat, but look at how cute. She's obsessed with bags, so I had to get it. And we each got our mom this super cute, really big Happy Mother's Day card. These were adorable. Mother's Day stuff was half off, okay? And this is already cheap prices, so I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, I got my grandma card, <laughs> Abuela. <laughs> and then I got this Mother's Day balloon pack they had, but what I didn't like was you couldn't see the design of the balloon since it's wrapped up, so let's see if it's cute. So super cute for Mother's Day. We will be blowing these up. Adorable. Let me show you all of the random stuff I got. I saw this really cute wine glass. It just says celebrate with balloons all over it. It was only $6, so I figured my mom can enjoy a nice glass of wine in this. And I also got me one too. Here, hold that. Super cute. This one says Lady Luck. We always have game night. We're always playing games, so I figured here, this one would be a good one for me to drink out of while we're playing games. There's a little drink recipe on the bottom. We'll have to try that out. And I also got this because my mom loves some chip and dip. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Is that not the cutest bowl you've ever seen? I'm gonna break it. Okay, you put some dip in there, put your, put your chips in there. It's a great time. This was $9. We will be back at this place frequently. Yeah. But that is everything we got today. Such a fun day. We have been out of the house for six hours and we're barely coming home. So I would say it was successful. We will definitely be going back to these places to check out their books. They say that they get donations all the time. So they're always restocking. We might need to calm down on the hauls though. Yeah. We've done a little too much book shopping this month. We do need to do some reading. So the next video is going to be a reading vlog. We want to finish our book club book together and film it so we're about halfway through Daisy Darker so we're gonna do a reading vlog over that and we also picked out Casey McQuinston books for each other for this month so we think it would be fun to read our Casey McQuinston books together too that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video reminder that our reading sprint for May will be this Sunday at 6 p.m. we will be posting more about it to remind you guys but come out join us we always have so much fun reading with you guys and chatting also, if you're not part of our book club yet and you want to be, that link will always be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. You guys, I'm trying to keep my left hand out. Look at this.
Look at this nail polish. I thought my nails look crazy. I did just this hand, so I'm trying to just use this hand. A little Sally Walker walking down the street. I was like, I'm down for. The kiddos are home. <laughs> um, okay, the last one I got was from Ollie's. Maybe let me stop crinkling the bag. He's losing weight without getting thinner and the scales register the same whether he's in clothes or without them. That's weird. Like, why is he naked? Because I also forgot I got oh this. Oh my god, you're like whacking him. Um, is that a cute boy jogging our way? <laughs> he is cute. Oh. Oh. My Whoa. god. This is, is he our moment. Out of a book cover? This is our moment. <laughs> Open the window. <laughs> Out of a book cover, quite long. I know. Can I show my snack? Yeah, show your snack. You guys, I did also get Why snacks. Why are you yelling again? Guys, I don't go anywhere without getting snacks. Look at these. Look at these puppies. Literally puppy love, they're called. Look at how cute they're like X's and O's and little puppies. Come on. I also got, in case you were wondering, <laughs> tiny little chewable tums I could put in my. Oh, we're doing all kinds of hauls today. Now I can cute. put in my Tums container these cute little tiny mini Tums. 